Full leaders and representatives of the nation's three major parties held talks on next year's budget. The opposition continues to voice concerns over how it could burden taxpayers. With less than a week before deadline, they rushed to narrow their differences over the matter. Kim Ya Sung has more from that meeting. The three parties' floor leaders met Monday morning with National Assembly Speaker Chung Se Gyun, who urged them to pass a 394 billion U.S. dollar spending plan with the deadline looming next Saturday. By law, the assembly has until December 2nd to approve it. Each party's deputy floor leader, along with its policy chief, then began a so-called 2 plus 2 plus 2 meeting Monday to negotiate. What's at stake here is the biggest budget for the people's livelihoods in terms of quantity and quality in our country's history. And now it's stuck because of reckless obstructionism by the Liberty Korea Party. There are six main points where they clash. The budget for government employees, a proposed fund to support private sector jobs, the National Pension Fund, health insurance, an allowance for parents with young children, and subsidies for education. The budget includes $460 million for hiring new civil servants. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea argued that the country needs more public sector workers, especially firefighters and police officers, while the main opposition Liberty Korea Party called that populism, saying it would burden future generations. Another sticking point is the $2.7 billion job support fund, which the ruling party wants to help small businesses deal with the impact of next year's minimum wage hike of 16 percent. But again, both the opposition People's Party and the Liberty Korea Party said that tax money should not be used to cover wages. I want to add that the fundamental blame for why we haven't been able to examine the budget lies with the ruling party, which is pushing for this budget with abandon. The 2 plus 2 plus 2 meeting was meant to help the parties reach a compromise. But as far as they still are, it remains to be seen if they can meet the budget deadline. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.